Hey guys, it's Pixel Dan. I'm here with my best friend Larry Kenny. What's yeah. up, Larry? Well, I just want to thank everybody for watching Pixel Dan. He's my man. Yeah. And uh, can I do the, uh, you, sh you should totally do the Thundercats. How's thing. it go, with Thunder? Uh, thunder. Oh, I got, I got, you got it. You got it. Go, go, okay. Do it with me. Okay. Okay. Three thunders, and then I'll do three thunders. Then together, Thundercats. Go. Okay. Got it. Okay. okay ready? 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 Thunder. 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 thunder thundercats. Oh. oh yes. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> What is going on my friends? I am Pixel Dan and I am in Greenville, South Carolina at Retro Toy Con. I've got a table set up here at the show as you can see. Uh, there's scum and villainy walking around the show floor right now. What? What? I'm sorry. My apologies. My apologies. We're just here to look for toys. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So I've, I've gotten the blessing from uh, the first order over here, the stormtroopers. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun at this show. Uh, I've got a table set up, hoping to meet a bunch of you guys as you come to the show here. Uh, but also, this is an all-toy convention, so I am going to walk the floor. We're going to see what kind of toys we can find. I'm going to do a little bit of toy hunting. So why don't we head on out there and see what we can find. No, I'm just like throwing things. Going on the I'm YouTube sorry. Channel. I know, right? This is what I do. I come in here and just, just trash booths. <laughs> hey, so over here I found a pretty nice selection of Rock Lords figures. I love finding these guys out in the wild. And uh, oh, and this is a meteor from Masters of the Universe. At least it's labeled correctly, but I could totally see how it fits in with the Rock Lords. But some of these guys, like this one right here, you don't see out in the wild very often. I love running across these guys. Decent price points on these as well. Oh, and then there's the Mega Man figures. I love this toy line. Based on that original cartoon series from the 90s, of course, they're a little more muscular than the video game looks, but again, another line I don't see very often, especially carded, and a lot of these guys I still want to collect, like that Snake Man right there. I have never been able to buy, find that Snake Man anywhere. I've, he's on my list, for sure. And you gotta love running across a big old tub of loose Masters of the Universe figures. So here I am kind of just checking all the Battle Cats because I'm looking for variations. <laughs> um, just kind of digging through to see what I can find. Now most of the stuff in this box is totally beat up. Um, lots of loose limbs. In fact, lots of guys are missing limbs. There's a blade, which is awesome to see. Very dirty. Um, but yeah, you can see there's a Triclops missing legs, and then there's this sad piece. That's a green belt merman, but his arm is broken off and his head is missing, and that's a real shame because of course the green belt merman is a first release figure. And then I found this whole bag of broken He-Man parts, and just like that green belt merman, I got instantly sad because you see this man at arms? Those two red dots painted on his helmet? Yep, that means it's a first release man at arms and his arm is completely ripped off. Like, the socket is completely broken. It's not that he's just missing his arm, it's broken. Oh, and then we've got a whole wall of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so let's see what we can find here. Oh, this is, this was one of those guys with the weird spring yeah. arms, the articulation. Fun stuff, man. We're both here together. Ooh, looky there. Oh, nice. Forty dollars. I got. Oh my god. Right, right. I bought a winged warrior Donatello yesterday. See, I, oh really? See, I had but, Donatello already, so now I've got both. I'm really happy. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, he's got the sword too. Oh, he's got the sword, and he's That's nice. Beautiful. 
Can we show this? Oh, can my, I, please, can I by all this? means. I, I would love <laughs> nothing more. Did you find this here? Yes, yes, I just bought it just oh, now. Oh, my uh, gosh. Yep. Yep. And you paid 40 for this? 40 bucks, yep. I'm just going to steal this I thing. Really <laughs> so we're going <laughs> to... That's amazing, yeah. dude. Good finds. Yeah, thank you. I'm super happy. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, these... Uh, yeah, so these are... They're super weird and unique. And they got the spring features. Oh, hey, you got. I've got a couple more stone protectors floating around over there too. And this is one of the uh, this is one of the sports ones from the second series. That's pretty great. I don't have him, sure. so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. Looks like I'm making a pile over here. That works for me. That works for you. Here's another one of these guys. It's from the sports series. Yeah, this is great. I don't I don't have any of these. Oh, that's... And this is just a regular Series 1. So I've got him. But I don't have any of these sports ones. So it looks like I'm expanding my Stone Protectors collection. Okay, I wish the camera was rolling like when you walked up here, so that I could have captured this actual experience. We, we could redo it. We could do it. Like oh, do you want to? You just want to? You want to? You want to fake it? Let's fake it. Like, we're in the wrestling business. Come on. That's right. That's right. Here. <laughs> it's a war. Okay, here. You take this back. Okay. I'm gonna stand right here. I'm just Pixel Dan. I'm hanging out in front of my table right now. Well, I got something you've been looking for. You got something I've been looking for a very long time. Oh my gosh. Rotor complete accessories. Rotor's accessories. I'm shocked right now. Vintage complete. <laughs> no, this is really amazing. So like, I had like, an, extra, an extra one complete. I went home and dug it out. Just man, me. yeah. So yesterday he asked me, he's like, what, what are you looking to complete for your vintage Motu line? And I told him, I said, well, I really need... Rotar's accessories. He's like one of the few figures I don't have the accessories for. And then he shows up today. Not a reproduction, 100% real. With Rotar's accessories. Extra I do. From my collection. And he's giving me a really good deal on him. Because if you guys don't know, this is one of the pricey ones. One of the pricier ones. This is one of the more expensive figures in the line, especially complete. Um, but you're giving me a heck of a deal I'm on him. I'm trying my best. Man, this is. This is amazing. Well, Thank you so much. Awesome. That's that's incredible. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Yo, look who I just ran into. Look who I just ran into. Look who look who I just ran into. Look who I just You're ran on into. my show. This is my my channel. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm on your show. I'm on the Pixel Dan show. Hey, it's Michael from Retro Blasting, hey, everybody. everybody. Hey, everybody. Woo! So yeah. Michael's also here with me at Retro Toy Con. Yep. It's been a really good show, It's huh? been an awesome show. Yeah. It's tons of vintage toys for all of my viewers who are watching this. Not many Funko Pops. Which is <laughs> Yeah, you're right. There yeah, really isn't there a lot are, of that here. Which is awesome. No. Quality show. Good it, show. It is a very quality yeah. show. Like, this room is so packed full of stuff. It's, yeah. it's kind of overwhelming. Uh -huh. Like, I don't know where to look sometimes. Yeah, but I went around like three times and I'm going, I don't even know where to begin with this. Yeah. Like, it's like, yeah. do I go for vintage Star Wars? Do I go for those Marvel Legends? Uh, I'm torn. So, I, yeah. I, it's blowing me away. So is there anything specific that you would be looking for? Like if we walked around right now, what would you be trying to find? I'm trying to get a snap cape variant Jedi Luke. Oh, okay. Okay, with the molded face painted hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to find, um, this will never happen. I'm trying to find the Kenner Real West Saloon, which is the, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, is yeah. the uh, creature cantina. I think we got someone behind us. Good. We'll move over here. We'll move, yeah, over, move here. over here. Move over here. And I would really love to get Marvel Legends Rogue and Psylocke. Oh, okay, okay. But the price points on Rogue especially, Rogue's got, really high. And I've seen a lot of Marvel Legends here yeah, actually yeah. too. Um, yeah, so the selection's crazy. Yeah. I'm, and you guys know me too, like I'm mostly at this point looking for a lot of the later Ninja Turtle stuff, right. which has been, it's, it's hard to get yes. that stuff. Some yes. of them are so expensive. But one of my favorite things to do at these shows is just look at this stuff too. Like yeah. it's always amazing to see what's out there and what mm -hmm. exists and what people bring to these shows. Yeah. So, I don't know, you want to walk around with me a little yeah, bit? Yeah, absolutely, because you never know what's going to jump out at you. All right. That you weren't thinking of, and then you're like, oh yeah, and then you grab that. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's, Let's do go it. do some toy hunting with Retro Blasting. Yeah. It's in. <laughs> I'm going to get this. I need to get... It's a little less uh, congested in here today, yes. and I kind of like like these lazy Sundays, yes. you know? Plus, you, plus, with so many people uh, are proportionately not in the way, you get to see more. We get to see more of what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Lots of Transformers in here. Yeah, I know that's not really your thing. Not really my thing. I appreciate them, though, you know? I, I, it's I, one of those... Transformers is not my number one, so you're not insulting with us. <laughs> 
Oh, and I love stuff like this too. Oh yeah, yeah. This this kind of stuff. I got these uh, separately as as a kid, but when you get them in these packs, the cassette colors are different. Like oh, my, that's cool. Yeah, like my Star Wars cassette was separate, so it's black with a white sticker and a red logo. So really? when you get them in different combinations, you can actually get variants of the different components. That's amazing. Yeah. And yeah. and this extra stuff, like the mm -hmm. the weird merchandise, is always some of my favorite things yeah. to collect yeah, it's these very days. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what Funko Pops are you looking for? I'm not looking for any Funko. You're not Pops. none of them. No. Not, not, no. <laughs> there's Star Wars ones though. I don't. I don't know. But there's Star Wars ones. There is a Bespin Luke Funko Pop. I don't want it. Okay? <laughs> I, I really love that they did the Toy Biz I packaging. Bought I bought two of those, one to keep in the package and one to own because I have waited 20 years for them to do that Dazzler. For them to do this costume yes. on Dazzler? Yes. Yeah, I know, it's so, now so great. all I'm waiting for is for them to do the proper storm so I can have the Konami arcade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, games. this is totally like that video yes, game absolutely. Dazzler, right? Yeah. yeah. I think mine is one or two details that are more comic accurate right. than the game, but that to me is dead on close enough. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so cool. And, and that. That, that packaging is just so nostalgic oh, for me, yeah. specifically. Yeah. Isn't it funny, like I always talk about this, like every time we see companies do these throwback packages, mm -hmm. how much better they look? Yeah. Like, yeah. there's just something about, even into the 90s, I feel like the packaging was just right. something, it was very something special. more special it was. than they what we the, see now. They did the artwork, like the actual artwork, or they found yeah. a really good photograph from the movie, like that R5D4 Jawa right there. Oh yeah, yeah, you absolutely. Find that photography, or you do this kind of art. I mean, that shows effort. That really shows. Yeah. You know, soul. Absolutely. So this is this is one of my all-time favorite weirdo toy lines right food here. Food fighters. I love yep. food fighters. Yep. Okay, so if you're that into food fighters. What are your thoughts on Barnyard Commandos? I think they're fun. I don't have as many of okay. them. I've got a okay. couple though. I've okay. got a couple. Okay. Because these ones still have their, their weapons somewhere. Yeah, it's, which is it's kind of, fun. yeah, exactly. We got backpacks and weapons. Uh -huh. There's none of the color variants because there's also like a pink donut right. and there's the pancake with the blueberry right. syrup uh -huh. and they're a lot harder to find now. Right. Uh, but like the, uh, the uh, uh, oh my gosh, what's the name of the uh, the combat carton? Yes. You don't see that very often either. It looks you like an egg that? carton. I do. Uh -huh. I have that. I <laughs> love it so much. <laughs> yeah, that was one of those deals where when it when the commercials for that hit, I remember seeing them on Saturday morning, going, "Why? Like, yeah. what, is, what?" And I, yeah. Well, yeah, they're super weird, yeah, right? They are. But like. I don't know, that's the stuff that appeals to me. I don't yeah. know why, but it's, this is the kind of like weird, creative, imaginative stuff mm -hmm. that it's, you don't see a lot of today. Right. Because everything feels like it has to be a licensed property. Sure, sure. And that's why I liked Grocery Gang so of much. Course. I felt like it was a good right. throwback to yeah. this kind of creativity. Yeah, whereas what, so, what, it's so funny that this is sitting on the shelf because literally right above it is the kind of thing that makes me go gaga, which is <laughs> the Eagle Space 1999 spaceship, the Eagle uh -huh. One. That right there is so hard to find as well, and it's a gorgeous toy. I mean, just look at it. All the all the play features on it. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. And the Mattel toy. Yeah. So it's funny. It's like you and I are separated by about four years as far as the year we were born. Right, but right. But that's just enough that I was on the more late 70s end of things, even though I was, I was born in 78. This stuff I still remember, and you're more into like the in that funny Fighters Ninja Turtles side of the exactly, decade, exactly. Yeah. Like I'm on the late '80s yes, stuff. Yeah. Like I, I was born in '82, yeah. so it's like I came straight into Masters. Right. Right. Um, but like from Masters, it was an easy transition to stuff yes. like Ninja Turtles yes. and everything, because that was the perfect point in my childhood. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's so funny how four years. Yeah. Like it just makes causes, a total difference. Makes I'm total into difference. like I'm into like white sets sci-fi from my end, and you're into the more colorful, bright, Ninja Turtle colorful, style yep. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, that though. That's hilarious. So there's a bunch of uh, classics oh, yeah, here. Classics. Oh, and they got some of the PowerCon exclusive ones, which is fun to see out in the wild. Tequila damaged. I guess it means the packaging is damaged. Yep. Because the figure looks great. The figure looks fine. I guess it's just this yeah, right here, yeah, right? Yeah. Just What's the price point on that? 90? 90. Because she's become one of the most expensive yeah. figures in line. Oh yeah, and like look at the blister bubble here. Uh -huh. It's got like yeah, but you want to open. But it. But if you want to open it, that's yeah, like perfect. I, I w I've really been commenting on how expensive this line has right. become. Yeah. Like recently, it's yeah. like like there was a minute there where these weren't really selling for more right. than retail yes. their asking price. But it's like within the last year or so, all of a sudden. 
these have really blown up in value and everybody's trying to get them. It's kind well, of amazing. It's because they, they did such a complete run of every obscure character. Yeah, And so yeah. if you can get this entire line, you have the whole universe. My goodness, look at that. 165. That's the Super 7. That's the Super 7 yeah. Ultimate version yeah. where they gave us like all the different heads mm -hmm. and that, there they go with that classic card back yeah, again, which, back. which looks so much better than this. Versus <laughs> this. And that's the Filmation, the filmation one. one. Yep. Yeah. Wow. I love that they did the, yes. the faker head, faker basically. Head? Yeah, yeah, that is awesome. <laughs> and then I always love seeing, look at that, there's an 88 oh, soft yeah. head Donnie right yes. there. Very nice. Unpunched. He's actually got good coloring too. A lot yeah, of times Donnie loves to discolor. And when you can kind of tell, you can tell, always tell when it's a soft head because the head's slightly matte. a lighter color. Yeah. It's got that matte finish mm -hmm. to it. And that was my brother's first t uh, turtle. This was my first turtle too. Mm -hmm. I still remember uh, it was a Hills department store. Really? This is where I got it. Nice. And it was like a summer day and we were walking through the toy aisle and my mom showed it to me and was like, hey, look at this. Ninja Turtles thing, yep. and uh, we bought it that day, and that was my introduction to Ninja Turtles. Nice. It was getting this figure right here. He, uh, yeah, he got so. Donnie, and then a few days, he got his at uh, like K&K &K Toys or something like that, or maybe Target, and then a few days later, we went, and I got uh, Michelangelo soft head. Oh, cool. And That's the awesome. nunchucks broke instantly, so I tied them together with oh. string. Everybody, yeah, everybody yeah. always had that problem with the nunchucks. Yeah. I remember too, I had, this is a hard head raft, yep. you can tell because yep. it's shiny. shiny. But I had a soft head raft as a kid and the the seam between his teeth like cracked open. So I remember being able to like squeeze his head and basically make it look like his mouth was opening and closing. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so funny. It's funny. Krang and the android body I is always cool to see. With the antenna still on his head. Oh, see, mine's got a broken antenna. Really? Yeah, I need to get a better, Everybody, better Pixel one. Everybody, Pixel Dan's Krang android body has a broken antenna. Oh, on I'm, I am just the worst kind of turtles collector. <laughs> I love the artwork. It's so cool. Look at Mikey. Yeah. <laughs> I, that was so late in the game when I was when we were originally collecting that we didn't even know that came out. Really? We were, we were out oh, of toys man. by that point. And so then we turned around one day and saw it in a toy store and I'm like, oh, they finally made the body. You know? Yeah. Because it was years. I was, I was the same way. Yeah. I was out of Turtles by then and I'm one day at the toy store. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, they finally made that. Finally cool. made it. And then I well, walked by. Well, you know, and later on, they eventually made like a smaller scale. Yeah, which mm -hmm. I think uh, got. Do you still have them? I, I thought I saw one over here yeah, yesterday. That's what I was kind of. You got a good selection over here. Maybe I did sell it. Rapping Mike. I am very tempted, I have to be honest. I'm very tempted on these Bucky O'Hares. The Bucky O'Hares. Yeah. Oh, I just I just did a full video talking mm. about this line. Yeah. I adore this I line. I do too. They're Those great. are great prices too yeah, for, for really boxed. Are. Yeah. The the toad crow uh, the double bubble is yeah. such a cool vehicle. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah, and I have the the ones we had from when we were kids and I'm gonna flesh out the line, but vehicles I want to make sure I have those too and oh that is I think you should buy them you think I should <laughs> I think that's a good price okay okay are you gonna do it are they com are they complete yeah we can open them up right here you can take oh you want to do it you want to take a look at can them can we do that yeah let's do okay, that man let's do that. yeah absolutely All right. oh yeah look at that thing I love the action feature with it like so you it's still bagged oh, oh it's all still bagged oh, yeah oh man there's the domes there holy cow I love the the action feature is great. You rock uh -huh. it side to side and it croaks. Uh, it goes. Uh, burr, burr, burr. I did not know oh, that. Sorry. You okay. didn't? Is it? I think you have to add the. I've, oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Yep. That is cool. It's this like the Dick one. Tracy cars I have. They have that sort of run along the ground. Uh huh. Sound, you know, yeah. Still incomplete as well. Or well, not incomplete, but I mean not built. And then that oh, one's got man. like the little... I actually uh, got the cardboard insert. Uh -huh. It's yeah. basically got a whoopee cushion inside of it, right? So you smash it down and it goes... Right. Boom, <laughs> like it's... Okay, so you gotta plug see, it, it into Like you plug yeah. on the little... Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. It because <laughs> it's it's a toad it's a toad uh, croaker. croaker so it's supposed to be like it, the, the toad croaking when he's getting stepped on. Okay. <laughs> It's such an amazing toy line, it's, like it, seriously. It, it, admittedly, this is amazing. So here's the question. The only barrier with this now is do you take square or is it all? Oh yeah, we do credit card, yep. Yeah. Let's just do this. <laughs> yes! Yes! Look at me enabling Michael over here. <laughs> you just told me it's a good deal, buy that. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> all right, if you say I mean, so. I need to just start selling everything. <laughs> you just want me to day. stand here at your booth all day and like, next. like. Well, in, in, in all fairness, okay, I've been in the market to complete my Bucky O'Hare collection for several years. Yeah, yeah. So, but I wanted to start with the vehicles. There you because go. Because the figures can be had. So, um, man, and that's. Yeah. I think you're getting a steal on these too. I mean, and you got everything bagged up still. Right. Oh, they're so cool. Yeah. Hold the phone. It's Evil Lynn and, and Evil Lynn Shadow Weaver. You guys look amazing. <laughs> oh, sorry. My mistake. <laughs> All right, let's see your spoils. So my spoils so far yeah. are the long-awaited Bucky O'Hare vehicles, mm -hmm. the Toad Croaker and the Double Bubble, which means that Retro Blasting feature on Bucky O'Hare is one step closer to being in production. Yeah. All right. Awesome. 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 Right. Right. Rogue's right there. Rogue is right there, and I really like that price. She it was sliced open, so if you're oh, an opener, it's great. Open. Yeah. Which sorry, is sorry. Oh, you're right. Uh, I don't mind sliced open. I'm a loose collector. Yeah. Me too. Oh, boys are more fun with Rogue. <laughs> of course they are. Maybe it's dangerous for you to just go toy hunting with maybe, me, Michael. Maybe, like, yeah. like, it's not the smartest idea. Or maybe I should actually just stand in your booth all day and just be I'll like, hey. Yeah, because this is now I'll like you an Undertaker. It's like pay me an Undertaker's. It's like, Wait, we might have a deal. Yeah. Hold on. It's like watch Pixel Dan and pixelated Michael because he's like totally confused at this point. I love it. Yeah. I love yeah. It. Okay. Um, uh, 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 I haven't picked that up yet either. That free pack's it's awesome. It's a cool set, yeah. I've yet to open one myself, so. Yeah. We just got them in this week and I brought them here, so I haven't really opened one to play with yet. I've bought vintage. I'm going to give it one more walk around. And, and, and yeah, I'm going to try, I'm that gonna try and restrain myself and we'll come back around later. All right, let's go, let's go right, see if right. we can find anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That slashes, but it's in blue? That's gonna be important. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, okay, where did I just put that purple? I'm gonna hold on to that too. I know that. Oh, that's looks just like that thing we're looking for. Yep, there's a blue one though. Okay, let me look up Leo too, so we know, because I got- That's gonna be important. That's also Slash's weapon in blue. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's see. Are you actually uh, gonna pick up the whole lot? Not, I don't think I'm gonna grab everything. I don't mean all this. I mean, but I think I'm gonna. Out. I think yeah. I'm gonna grab these for sure. Yeah, yeah. Because um, some of these complete. Like I, I, yesterday, I bought those Coil Force figures from them. Mm -hmm. So some of these are gonna like give the weapons to those figures. Like here, yeah. Leo's sword and and some of Raph's weapons are here. So that's good. But then yeah, some of these are just so weird and obscure that I want to get them just to see what they fit with at yeah. home. This one looks familiar too. This one. Gosh, I feel like I know it. I feel like it's one of the Cyber Force guys. You know, like Cyber Force would make sense. I, I'm, I don't know everything. I, I look this stuff up all the time too. <laughs> I'm constantly getting on Google, looking up accessories to complete my figures. So there's no shame in that, right? <laughs> no. I mean, technically no. Technically no. <laughs> well, I think, uh, what, what do you think the fair price on that stuff is? Oh my gosh, I hate when this happens. I don't know what a fair price is on this. Well, what, do you, what, did you, what were you asking for him? We're just gonna do five bucks on the lot, man. Huh? Five bucks on the lot. Five bucks on all of this? Are you serious? Yeah. Dude, that's all right, man. I'll do five bucks for all this. Are you sure? I always feel bad, man. Yeah. <laughs> Who else am I gonna get that stuff? I wanted you to keep that. Oh, okay. I'm paying ten dollars for this. Okay. <laughs> you twist my arm. <laughs> this is awesome. Dude. Thank you so much. I was looking at those carry cases down here yesterday. Uh -huh. That's that's something else that I always My brother love has to collect. The red Masters of the Universe carry case. Yeah, so I've got a yeah. couple of the red ones. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, guys? Yeah, how you doing? So this is like the bigger, yeah. bigger one. But I love the artwork on these things. Right. Like, I mean, look at that Skeletor just getting. Oh yeah, it's great. Getting the other one team in, I think it's Skeletor coming coming into battle. Yeah, and it's got the weird like red battle cat yes. on the back of it. Yes. Red battle cat with the. Yes. So this one's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I love. I also love these. Yeah, the sort of generic ones. Generic ones. Yeah. Like, look, it's just a collector case. Holds eight figures, like She-Ra yeah. or Golden Girl. Like, and it's... Well, they missed the boat on the opportunity to make one for She-Ra. Yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Like, the one, what's the, fam the famous uh, generic sci-fi one for Star Wars? Uh-huh. That's Space, Star Space Case. Space Case, yeah. yeah. Yeah, look at the artwork on this, though. It's, like, yeah. really creative. Right. It's yeah. really good. 
So I always noticed too that the company that makes all these cases was Terra Toy. You ever oh, notice yeah, that? Yeah, it's yeah. like the same company. That that's what they exist for. It's was like making the, these vinyl cases. Kind of like the company that made all the role playing swords and stuff. Was yeah. Like HG or something like that. HG Toys or something. This is a. What do you what do you have on this case? Five, five bucks. Seriously? I mean, what, about, what about this one? Oh, this is for, I'm sorry. Twenty bucks on that. Five bucks on this. Five on this one. Twenty on this one. I'm gonna take both of these off your hands because <laughs> I love this yeah, kind I'll of stuff. Oh, cool! They're Thank awesome. you. Great. <laughs> I think this will fit in my suitcase. Now you know what's cool about this one too. We gotta open this up actually. This one has scenery inside the case, right. and it actually has like a little shelf. Nice. So you could double it as like a display for nice. your fingers if you wanted to do that. Yeah. That's cool. Because I think there was one of these on both sides actually. Yeah, there was. It goes like this, I think. Yeah. Yes. It's like that. That's clean so that's, though. It's super clean and look at that. I love that bright colorful mm -hmm. artwork. Yeah. Like, that's really cool. Yeah. All right, you got to get to a panel soon. Yeah. So what do you think? Do you do you want that Psylocke or that robe? Are you going to spring for him or? Come on, let's go do it. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Psylocke? I'm going to go for Psylocke first. Oh no. Let's do the rogue first, see if it's still there. Okay, because it was hanging right over here, right? Then we'll head back towards your booth and get the Psylocke. Psylocke is still... Watch this, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these, I'm going to give them to the toy fed, hold for me, I'll be right back. Okay. Hey man, can you hold these for me for two minutes and come right back? Sure. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hi. Hi, are you... <laughs> Are you are you still paying in undertakers if I bring you sales? <laughs> this is the undertaker right here that I want, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And you're the proud owner of a rogue. Not until he signs this. Oh, okay. Sign. Yes. Sign your life away. Oh, now he's a proud owner. All right. I'm proud owner of a road. And we're gonna get the Psylocke too. We are. He found a Psylocke you, over there nice. too. And I have him holding it for me. What do they have on her? It's fifty. It's but, but, it, but it wasn't a cut I mean, box, which I'm gonna lie. Yeah. 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 I'll yeah. open it carefully. Open it carefully. Right, there you go. Right. right. <laughs> thank you again. And thank you again. Oh, you're so yeah. welcome, yeah. sir. You're very welcome. <laughs> I was giving Dan food. credit for my. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my own brain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. All right, let's go get Psylocke. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, I'm gonna finish this off, and then I guess I'm gonna go to a panel. And then you gotta do a panel. Yep. Well, this is dinosaur toys. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. This in there too. Yeah. You did it, Michael. I did it. You did it. I did it. Despite every instinct, despite every instinct I have, I did this. <laughs> And some people say that it's his fault, but I don't think that's true. I take responsibility for my actions. That's right. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, it's been a good run. It's, yes. It's been an expensive run. Hey, um, but it was a lot of fun. I'm it, glad I got to walk yeah, around with you. Absolutely. This has been great. Thank awesome. you. No. Thank you for doing this. And thanks for being here, Michael. Yeah, I appreciate and it. Michael's got to run off and do a panel a now. Panel on 80s dinosaurs. But if you guys aren't already subscribed to Retro Blasting, make sure you head over there and check them out because they do some awesome stuff over Thank there. Thank you. Too. I appreciate yeah. that plug. Of course. Yeah. All right, man. Man. Well, go get it. Go get it, Michael. Go I gotta go. Panel. I gotta go talk right. about Grimlock. <laughs>
Um, and it was awesome. So special thanks to everybody from Retro Toy Con. Of course, Michael from Retro Blasting. It was awesome to hang out with. Mr. Larry Kenny Liono himself had a really great weekend. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, my friends.